this lesson, we will work on our intermediate level. And here we have first unit, third part, 1.3, vocabulary and skills development. We learn a lot of words and try to improve our speaking. And here our goals are listen for keywords. We try to find and locate keywords in audios and noun suffixes. We have to look at the particles that we can create nouns with listening and speaking. We have to improve the skills. Here, keywords. Exercise 1A. How was the internet? How has the internet changed people's lives? Work with a partner and make a list of five to ten things which have really changed since the internet was invented. Now you have to talk about the impact of internet, how internet and in what ways internet changed our lives. And we have to think about up to 10 things that have been radically changed because of the internet. Pause the video and try to do this exercise on your own in a written form. Now let's have a look at the suggested answer. There are no specific answers, but you can expect the following. Well, availability of huge amounts of information, meaning that with the help of internet, we have Wikipedia, we have a lot of websites, and we can get any information that we want. Two, easier and quicker communication. Well, we can communicate easily with our loved ones, with our friends, with everyone through uh, social media websites or just simply uh, texting, right? Uh, three, less face-to-face -face contact. Well, as we can text and as we can uh, socialize in social media, we don't have to go to meet someone. And lower book sales leading to bookshops closing. So we have e-versions of all the books, e-versions of all the materials that we need. So that's why we don't have to buy a physical book. That's why bookshops are closing. And easier access to films, music, and other media. Well, before, uh, to buy a music, you just have to buy a disc. To see a movie, you just have to buy a cassette. Or you had to go to a cinema. Now, you can just download the files from any website that you want. Exercise 1B, compare your list with another pair. Has life changed for the better? Are there any aspects of life worth since the internet was invented? Here, you have to compare your list. The, which has uh, up to 10 changes and whether match them and whether see whether you have the same changes or not and decide whether life changed for the better or for the worse. And you just have to find some other aspects of life that didn't change for the positive side because of the internet. Pause the video and try to do this exercise in your own, on your own in a written form. Exercise 2. Look at the cover of a recent book about the internet. Do you think the author is positive about the effect of the internet or negative? Read the book description and check your answers. Look at the cover of the page of the cover of the newly published book and try to guess whether author has positive ideas or negative ideas. And after this, read this review and check your ideas. Pause the video and try to do this exercise yourself. Exercise 3. Read and listen to the information in the Unlock the Code box about listening for keywords. Now you will listen for the information about how to locate keywords. Audio 1.7 Listening for keywords Keywords carry the most important information. They are generally nouns and verbs and are usually spoken more loudly and clearly than other words. For example, three times a week. I send a lot of emails. I like looking at shopping websites. Unlock the code. Listening for keywords. Keywords carry the most important information. They are generally nouns and verbs and are usually spoken more loudly and clearly than other words. As you see, we have the most important information in our text, in our speech, in like some words. It shouldn't be all the words, it should be one or two key words. And these words are mostly noun form or verb form. And they are mostly spoken loudly, differently and clearly. And here, for example, three times a week, I send a lot of emails. 
I like looking at shopping websites. Exercise 4a. Look at these phrases from the review in exercise 2. Here we have to look at our review in exercise 2 and look at the phrases. Which do you think are the most important words in each phrase? Discuss with a partner and underline them. Here we have to find, we have to try to find the key words in these phrases and discuss with our partner and underline them. Pause video and try to do this exercise on your own. Now, if you have finished, let's check the answers. One, this is a fascinating book. It's fascinating. Two, we all know that the internet is changing the way we are doing things. So it's all internet changing due. Three, but car believes that it's also changing the way our brains work. So it's car believes work. Four, with a printed book, he argues our brains learn to think deeply. Four, printed brains deeply. Five, in contrast, the internet encourages us to read small bits of information from lots of different places. It is contrast, internet, small bits, information, lots, different places. Six, we're becoming better and better at multitasking. So better, better, multitasking. Seven, but much worse at concentrating on one thing. So worse, concentrating and one thing. Exercise 4B, listen and check your ideas. You have to listen to audio and check whether your answers are correct or not. Audio 1.8 this is a fascinating book. We all know that the internet is changing the way we do things, but Carr believes that it is also changing the very way our brains work. With the printed book, he argues, our brains learn to think deeply. In contrast, the internet encourages us to read small bits of information from lots of different places. We are becoming better and better at multitasking, but much worse at concentrating on one thing. Exercise 5. Listen and complete these opinions about the internet with the missing keywords. Listen to audio and try to fill the sentences with your own words. Audio 1.9 1. Shopping and banking online is unsafe. 2. Looking at screens all day is bad for our eyes. 3. People will forget how to talk to each other. 4. People don't spend enough time outside. 5. Online information is not always reliable. 6. Hyperlinks in online texts are very distracting. 7. We are now using far more electricity to power all our screens. 8. Multitasking online makes us work less effectively. Now, if you have finished, let's check the answers first. 1. Shopping and banking online is unsafe. 2. Looking at screens all day is bad for your eyes. 3. People will forget how to talk to each other. 4. People don't spend enough time outside. 5. Online information is not always reliable. 6. Hyperlinks in online texts are very distracting. 7. We are now using far more electricity to power all our screens. 8. Multitasking online makes us work less effectively. Exercise 6a. Listen to part of a radio program about the book. Which of the opinions in exercise 5 do you hear mentioned? Listen to this audio recording and try to find opinions from exercise 5. Audio 1.10 So this week we're going to be talking about The Shallows, a book by Nicholas Carr, in which he argues that using the internet is actually changing the way our brains work. How is that? Well, it's actually a very interesting book because rather than just talk about all the ways people say the internet is bad for us, well, you know, the staring at a screen is affecting our eyesight or making our children fat because they don't go outside and play anymore, Carr takes quite a scientific approach. He isn't exactly saying that the internet is bad for us, 
But he is saying that it is making our brains work differently and that the changes may be permanent. In what way? Well, he starts off by talking about when people started writing and reading books. That was a huge change as well, and lots of people felt it was a bad idea. What would happen, they argued, if people didn't have to memorise everything because it was all written down in books? Sounds a bit like the arguments people make today about people looking facts up online, that they don't remember things anymore. But Carr says that, in fact, books taught us to really focus on one thing at a time. Whereas now, we're constantly looking at lots of different things at the same time. Hyperlinking, where we're encouraged to click on an underlined word or phrase and we go off to a different website, is a particular problem. Hmm. But isn't multitasking good for the brain? Well, according to Carr, no. The studies show that when we try to do two things at once, we do both of them less well. We're also less likely to remember what we've done or read. There are some obvious benefits to the internet, but all the same, it is changing our culture so that we're less able to concentrate or make deep connections in our brain. And that can't be a good thing, can it? Now let's check answers together. Two, looking at screens all day is bad for your eyes. Six, hyperlinks and online texts are very distracting. Eight, multitasking online makes us very work less efficiently. Exercise 6b, listen again, according to the speakers, which of the opinions in exercise five would Nicholas Carr agree with? Now, let's just look at the opinions of speakers and let's find which of this Nicholas Carr agrees with. Audio 1.10. So this week we're going to be talking about The Shallows, a book by Nicholas Carr, in which he argues that using the internet is actually changing the way our brains work. How is that? Well, it's actually a very interesting book because rather than just talk about all the ways people say the internet is bad for us, well, you know, the staring at a screen is affecting our eyesight or making our children fat because they don't go outside and play anymore. Carr takes quite a scientific approach. He isn't exactly saying that the internet is bad for us, but he is saying that it is making our brains work differently and that the changes may be permanent. In what way? Well, he starts off by talking about when people started writing and reading books. That was a huge change as well, and lots of people felt it was a bad idea. What would happen, they argued, if people didn't have to memorise everything because it was all written down in books? Sounds a bit like the arguments people make today about people looking facts up online, that they don't remember things anymore. But Carr says that, in fact... Books taught us to really focus on one thing at a time, whereas now we're constantly looking at lots of different things at the same time. Hyperlinking, where we're encouraged to click on an underlined word or phrase and we go off to a different website, is a particular problem. Hmm. But isn't multitasking good for the brain? Well, according to Carr, no. The studies show that when we try to do two things at once, we do both of them less well. We're also less likely to remember what we've done or read. There are some obvious benefits to the internet, but all the same, it is changing our culture so that we're less able to concentrate or make deep connections in our brain. And that can't be a good thing, can it? Okay, now if you have finished, let's just check the answers. Well, here Nicholas Carr agree with, agrees with hyperlinks in online texts are very distracting and multitasking online makes us work less efficiently. Exercise 7a. Which of the opinions in exercise 5 do you agree with? Discuss in small groups. Here you have to discuss the arguments and statements that you agree with in exercise 5 and discuss it in small groups. Pause the video and try to answer the question in a written form.
Exercise 7b. What arguments in favor of the internet can you think of? Make a list in your group. Compare your list with another group. Here, pause the video and try to think of ideas that support the internet and show it to your groupmates. Vocabulary and speaking. Noun suffixes. Now we have to look at particles that create nouns like ER, work, worker, play, player. Exercise 8. Read the extract from a review of The Shallows. Name one thing the writer likes about the book and one thing he dislikes. Read the review of Shallows and try to find arguments uh, that the writer likes and dislikes. Now let's look at the answers if you have finished. Well, author says it raises many interesting questions and he doesn't agree with the solutions Carr offers to the problems he raises. Exercise 9a. Read the information in the vocabulary focus box and find nouns in the review that end in ship, meant, iron, and et. Vocabulary focus, noun suffixes. Now we just have to pause the recording and look at the review and try to find the words that end in this suffixes. Vocabulary focus, noun suffixes. Suffixes often change the class of the word, verb, noun, adjective. Now if you add suffixes to the existing word, their form changes, their class changes. It become, can become from verb to noun or from noun to adjective. Here you have secure, it's adjective. And if you add this uh, particle, add the suffix, it becomes security. Achieve, verb, achievement, noun. Connect, verb, connection, noun. Notice how the spelling can change. Here we can just change our spelling, uh, emit some word, some letters, add some letters. Here we have communicate and it becomes communication. Able becomes ability. Sometimes we, the word class stays the same, but the meaning is different. So uh, even if some words change and word class stays the same, for example, if it was noun and stays as a noun, but their meaning changes. For example, here, she's my best friend. Friend is a person and we have a close friendship. Friendship is a situation or a state. Exercise 9b, add the nouns from the review to the mind map. Try to finish the mind map using the words from the review. If you have finished now, let's check the answers. Here we have ship. We have relationship, membership, friendship. From achievement, we have, uh, from men, we have achievement, improvement, government, judgment, development, employment. And we have ET, opportunity, security, ability. And IN, we have information, question, solution, and communication. Exercise 10 match nouns in the mind map to their definitions. Now we have the definition of words and try to find the word itself by reading the definition. Pause the video and try to do the exercise. If you have finished now, let's check the answers. One, the state of having a job, it's employment. Two, connections with friends, family, etc. It's relationships. Three, change, which makes something better, it's development. Four, ways to deal with a cell problem, it's solution or solutions. Five, forming an opinion, making sensible decisions, it's judgment. Six, a thing you have done successfully, it's an achievement. Seven, having the chance to do something you want to do, it is opportunity. Exercise 11, add noun suffixes to the words in brackets to complete the sentences. Now we have to use the words that we learned and try to finish the sentences with clear and correct suffixes. Pause the video and try to do this exercise in a written form. Now let's check the answers together. One, the internet and especially Skype has improved communication with friends who live abroad. Two, the development of smartphones has made a huge difference to the way we all access information. Three, I'm always extremely careful about my personal security online. Four, I think I'm lucky because I have always had a very close relationship with my sister. Five, I don't have gym membership because I can't afford the time, this, the time, right? Six, many people think that government should have some control over the information we can get on the internet. Seven, 
the internet offers great opportunities for finding employment. Exercise 12, thoughts, which of the sentences in exercise 11 are true for you? Compare your answers with the partner and give reasons. So now you have to look at exercise 11 and look at the statements and find the ones that are true for you and compare your answers to your partner and try to give reasons in a written form also. That's the end of our lesson. See you in the next lessons.